guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joy Crystal and hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day wherever you are. Alright guys, so I'm going to be traveling to LA in a couple of weeks and I recently picked up a new travel bag slash tote slash purse thing you carry with you. Anyway, I will show you back. It is this um, little backpack by Daniel Nicole and I loved it because of the green stripes and it reminded me of Gucci even though it's not Gucci. But So I just thought I would sit down and film for you what I'm going to put in this bag as I travel and slash essentials that you should put in your bag when you travel because it's still summer, summer's still young, lives in our hearts, so whenever you travel, it doesn't have to be now, but I mean, it's just good to know. So with that being said, let's get in the video. All right. Cool. You can fit quite a bit inside this bag and that's what I love about it and also matches my aesthetic so you know win 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 and it's a pretty pretty decent amount of space in that bag and um yeah it's, it's gonna work out it's gonna it's gonna be good. Alright guys so the first thing I'm gonna put, be putting inside my little backpack which is also the first thing I recommend that you put inside your backpack is your travel document holder slash wallet for me I guess. In this little wallet yeah I can fit my password and also my phone and any cash or credit cards I need if this is the Lauren by Ralph Lauren wallet um super great super high quality but that's not the point of it you know the point is to fit all your most essentials in this like your boarding pass and any other tickets or information you're gonna need if you're traveling overseas even you need to fit everything in one solid bag that you know if I lose everything else and if I just have this I will be Okay, right, so after you have all the needed documents that you need to travel with, most importantly, then I usually move on to skincare. So since we are going to be on a plane and the altitude usually causes me to have really, really dry skin, I always try to take something that's really moisturizing and will really help me throughout the plane, especially if it's like an international long flight. So I just picked up this um, hyaluronic acid, which I've heard a lot about. It's supposed to be super, super hydrating for skin. And it's just kind of like a chemical that you use very little of and it's supposed to work amazingly with hydration wise and everything and then I also take my Clinique dramatically different moisturizer this is kind of like the only moisturizer that doesn't break me out I don't know what's wrong with my face and moisturizers but yeah and then also since you can never really be sure or you never really want to wash your face in an airplane bathroom do you I don't know I've never washed my face in an airplane bathroom but I also take the Meister water by Garnier which is really great if you don't have like running water available wherever you are and you want to remove your makeup or just freshen up your face this is great for that as well so that's basically all the skincare I take when I travel and I just all fit it in here and with skincare especially you have to be careful because these are liquids and um, here in the states you're only allowed 3.4 fluid ounces I think so this is one fluid ounce together so that's probably that's already like a heap of my allowance taken this is 1.7 but I'll probably put it in a smaller bottle and then this is actually 3.4 in total so I'm gonna also have to put this in a small bottle or I might be lying to you it might be 3.4 each but just to be on the safe side I will be putting these in like smaller probably like um 0.3 ounce bottles or something like that so yeah so guys before you put your liquids away and before I put my liquids away I learned to store everything in a Ziploc bag just so TSA will probably give you less trouble and also you want to make sure your stuff in case they spill they don't go everywhere and ruin anything in your luggage so this is a great tip to just like make sure everything is clean and you're worry free as you travel and you know just you have your life together when everything is in a bag. Next thing I carry which I think I might have should have might have mentioned in the skincare but it's fine, I didn't, are just a medicated ointment or like cream that helps with like any breakouts or pimples. Just any one that works for you will do. And then also probably my most important ones since you know, have to do with ash and all that stuff, I do carry a tiny little bottle of lotion. This is Lola, um, it's Shea Butter Hand Cream, and this is 0.3 of an ounce. I'm not so sure if lotion applies to the liquid rule. It might, so you definitely want to make sure and get all your measurements together beforehand. But then also what I have to take with me is a little perfume. And sometimes I take with me these little, this is not a roll ball. Is it a roll ball? Okay. Oh, it is a roll ball. Okay, this is a little roller ball perfume. And this is also 0.3 of an ounce. But in case you want to take something smaller or you're already like 
teetering on your liquid allowance. You can also get these tiny little bottles by Sephora. And the great thing about this is you can get as many as you want and like smell good your whole entire trip. And all right, you guys, so makeup wise, I honestly try to stuff, try not to stuff too much makeup in the little bags I take with me on the flight just because they do take a lot, take up a lot of space and I actually find myself not using them as much so I definitely put those in my carry-on but the ones I do carry with me are my essentials and I feel like everyone should have these with them at times because you know you just never know you never know so the first thing I take with me is a concealer because it's smaller than a foundation and it's really easy to put on even when you're on the seat just like dab it on dab it on you're good to go clear skin good times no pimples Hallelujah. And then the next thing I take with me that I cannot leave without is an eyebrow pencil. Because I feel like if you have clear skin and good eyebrows, the world is your oyster. You know? You know. So I always have to take an eyebrow pencil with me. And then a lip balm because chap lips are real on a plane. And when you travel, I feel like you just always need good measure. You know? Good time. So you can get these anywhere. And um, they sell them at Duty Free too. So that's a good eye. That's a good um place you can buy them in case you forgot and then also the last thing that I carry with me that's optional to you guys just because I wear a lot of false lashes and I always have to have them on and have to have them with me is eyelash glue because I don't want them falling off midway plane and then I can't reattach them and then your girl goes out with like half an eyelash which is never a good time so I all right guys the next thing I have to take with me when I travel in the little bag is a good pair of sunglasses because you know sometimes you need to be Beyonce and how do you be Beyonce without sunglasses you see you see the disconnect you can't you can't do it so you need a good pair of sunglasses and especially when you get off that plane you need to be like listen who says I got off a 16 hour flight what hair flip hair flip yes anyway guys a good pair of sunglasses is something I always carry as well as my headphones because you know always need to listen to some good music or audible or whatever you want to listen to headphones are always a must for me and then if i have room in the bag a good pair of comfortable shoes now why shoes joy well i'm one of those people who really likes to wear heels and be all extra when she travels so mid-flight my feet could be hurting and i need a good pair of shoes so i just slide these in there probably maybe a pair of chocolates and of sandals or whatever and um, yeah, those. so one of the last things I make sure I get every time I travel is a snack. Now these are just pretzels and cheese, just for an example, you know, because more times than not, they will not allow any food on the plane, no matter where you're coming from, especially international flights, food from home is just not allowed. You definitely need to purchase food from the duty-free side of the airport once you've crossed over TSA and everything. Then you can purchase food and put them in your little bag or your carry-on and you should be good to go. Access. And I see we have room, so huh, we're gonna try to squeeze the babies in. Oh my gosh, you guys, they fit. Oh, you they, you they, oh yeah. <sighs> It's a Christmas miracle. 